There's so much about the provenance that you would say about a source such as this. First of all, you could say, well, actually, Audric Vitalis might provide a fairly balanced view of William and how he acted because he had mixed heritage. He had a, a mother who was English and a father who was French, so he might be quite a, a person with quite a balanced opinion of William, potentially. However, he is talking about uh, things that William said that happened a long time after William died. Uh, well, when William was alive, Vitalis, looking at his date of birth, was 12. And also, he'd already been in France for two years, or in Normandy, training as a lot, which is where William spent most of his time. But he, how likely is it that when Audric Vitalis is writing this book many years later, because you can see when he was writing his book, that he got word for word exactly what William said? He almost certainly didn't hear it himself. I mean, pretty much certainly didn't hear it himself. He was a small child. Why would William be explaining this to him? So it's come off second-hand knowledge from somebody else who's told Audric Vitalis what William supposedly said. He's unlikely to have said it word for word. However, he may well have got the gist of what William said from the reports that, that, that he heard. And we know about William's actions. See, this is where all knowledge comes in. We know about William's actions and Robert's actions that they didn't get on. So there's every reason why he might have said something like this. Now, some of you might make a thing about him having not visited England uh, other than once after he went to Normandy. Doesn't matter. It's a bit of a red herring. The, the, that, you've got to look at a problem and think, well, that, on, does that matter? It's like being a detective. It's very, very hard. Doesn't matter that he didn't go to England because William didn't spend very much time at all in England towards the end of his uh, end of his reign. The point is that the time here, they, they, they all got, Audric Vitalis was not in a position to be central to what William was saying when he was a, a child. So he's obviously got it from second-hand knowledge and he's writing way after the event. So even whoever told him, if they told him soon after the event, that probably unlikely because he was a child, so they're probably relying on memory. And maybe with Audric Vitalis didn't write it down till much later on, so he's relying on some form of memory. So it's the the difference in time here is the clue between when Audric Vitalis has been told this information, or when this in, then this event supposed to have taken place, and when he actually wrote it down is the key provenance issue here. Uh, but of course, he he could provide a fairly balanced view of William himself because of this mixed heritage. And that's what I would pick out in terms of the provenance. But don't forget, these are not exclusive. You know, you can put these together and say, however, we know that Robert and William didn't have a great relationship. So it's likely that he did say things like this, if, even if it wasn't exactly uh, these words, because it's incredibly unlikely that these were exactly William's words. And there is your, or there are your clues into provenance.